Hello and welcome. Uh, let's create a new project and then standard project. Just create uh, something like code says exam you can give a uh, project name as you wish uh, choose the language choose the controller first device you want to choose now my device is window 64 this one and ladder So the project has been created um, for the time being what we can do we go through one example uh, what is that uh, there are three machines each with own start and stop button each start button is to have a ceiling circuit ceiling circuit is something uh, like how to say it's exactly set and reset the purpose is to have a set and reset. When you start, the output is set, is a latch. But uh, set reset is different uh, when you uh, see it differently. For example, in ceiling circuit, if you turn up the device PLC, for example, if you turn up the PLC and restart the PLC, your output will B by default off stage the output is off so it is no more uh, set or reset uh, the last state of the output it is uh, default uh, you know when you have not started the, the output that it will return back to the stop uh, state I would say but set reset is when you set a particular output and you turn up the device after you restart the device the output will remain set but for ceiling circuit it will you know go back to reset state so that's the difference between uh, set reset circuit and ceiling circuit set reset circuit is also called latch and latch we used to call this ceiling circuit latch and unlatch, but there are many other manufacturers of the software we use latch and unlatch in place of set and reset. Uh, so that uh, naming is now changed to ceiling circuit. So we, we would call that ceiling circuit. So what is that? Now we have three machines. Each machine has its own start button and stop button and remember start button is just like normally open so your button is connected to the PLC uh, through the inner circuit and stop button is NC so by default your stop input is high because NC normally connected so it's the voltage is connected to that input okay so that's the difference between start and stop button. It's a default understanding of engineer who are, you know, uh, working for the circuit of uh, start button and stop button. Even you don't have to tell operators how to connect start button and stop button. They know that stop stop button has to be, you know, NC normally connected. Okay, so how do we program it in uh, TI portal? Uh, sorry, in courses. We are now programming in courses. So, what we would do this is our main program in TI portal. Uh, we have chosen the language as a ladder logic. Um, what we can do is we can simply write uh, ladder logic here in the main program, PLC underscore program. Or you can create a kind of a different block for that.
pou and then we uh, create a function or another program and we just create another function add okay so here we have to choose the written type no, but we didn't name machine. Machine one. Okay, so this is our machine one, and we want to program. Uh, the clear logic uh, start stop button. So what we can go uh, do? We drag and drop. We start doing this. Uh, and double. You can select the run and then click on this normally open contact. Insert contact. This is you see two parallel lines are right there. So that is normally open and. This is software normally open. There is difference between hardware normally open and software normally open. So when I talk about start button, and if you use this for start button, then it will act as normally open. But uh, if you use start button here in this uh, normally close software logic normally uh, close the software logic for this if you use start button then when you press it will be disabled so a logic operation result will be off so it's the opposite it's like a invert circuit for this opposite of this status to take the opposite status of this input we can use this or vice versa so um, now you can do we use start button start and then bull false stop false and then we can create output And then we give here machine okay so this is uh, going to be we can choose from clicking the button what you have to do we go to machine one and then up you can choose the start here okay and then select this click other and double click or single click stop button and then click this one and choose the coil insert simple coil and then Click on this, click button, give machine. So this is one uh, run. Now, what is the logic of ceiling uh, circuit? Is that we have to create a parallel of this and give this output. Machine is output, right? This is a variable output variable. We can copy this variable also if you select this and then paste here that also should work 
or you can click this button to uh, you know, select uh, the proper variable from the list either way should work so this example we are actually showing how you can create a simple function and call that function multiple times without you know uh, creating the same ladder logic multiple times simply we use a single one run and then this will be called this function will be called three times now this is our program done for three machines what we have to notice here we have given the name machine one but we can give it a proper name such as uh, rename to this machine Just yes, machine, we also can give them that should be fine. It should not be conflicted because we have a block. We have one output that is machine and our function also machine. Uh, I think that's giving error. What you can give is machine out from quiet. We can also change that. I think that's a good point. And change the name. This is. Copy this. Paste. Oops. Strange is behaving differently. I cannot click in a place. Okay, let me close this and reopen the scene X. So we name it the scene X. Okay, so now it's properly done, saved. We can even build. Uh, build will not work uh, because we have not called the function uh, what we have to do we call this uh, function from here what you can do we choose the box or drag and drop and then click on start here and then we can machine application and the machine so this is done we have selected now because we have three inputs and output two input and one output we can now actually give the um, what is called physical input and output so what we can give is we can define some input start one both false and then uh, we can actually copy paste this multiple times and then two and three start two and three similarly we can give it stop one both note we are actually simulating a situation where 
uh, start button is in or normally open and stop button is normally closed so what we can do is we can initialize with this uh, true value to the stop button and then we can give two more coffee so that is start button and stop button one more thing pending is mm, something is wrong expected something no problem we can save it and try mm, it's done then we can give a machine one both this is output we are not initializing machine 2 3 so all the inputs and output we have already declared here you can see so what we can do is we call this block three times first we assign one variable uh, one set of variable start one and then stop one and then machine one so this is one machine completed with the what is called filling circuit we click and create another network so you can create network below the network or above the selected network so we create down below and copy this network and paste paste one more so just we change the number and this will be our machine too machine 3 machine 3 machine 3 okay so this is complete example that we are supposed to do is completed with this the so one thing is uh, now we have to do is do it last time our call is complete we can do it and see the, if there is any error we don't have any error go and simulate and then log in to download so it says application does not exist on device do you want to create it proceed with the download so uh, in simulator there is no device and we have to download it so let's go and okay it's in simulator some previous project is downloaded so do you want to replace it that's uh deleted on the plc okay to uh, okay so we uh, re-download this one and replace uh, the existing project So in the latching, uh, this uh, ceiling circuit, uh, ceiling circuit is within this machine function, and that machine function, we have created uh, a one ladder logic ladder run, and that is actually function, and then that function is called three times, and so we have created actually logic for three machines. There are three machines, each with its own start stop button. Each start button is to have a ceiling circuit. Now, each machine has its own start and stop button. We see each are different. There is no conflict. Now, our simulator is running. Our stop button is normally connected, and this is what NC means. Uh, if you have any still confusion, 
this NC button means if the physical button where the voltage is already applied to the TLC input that means that input is high and normally open contact has status 1 and normally open is the input to that button is not connected you have to press to get the signal into the PLC that's the different basic now if we want to start the machine one what you can do we can simulate toggle um, what you can do we can just from here from this table we force the value right click write values to device application so nothing happens why nothing happened and our machine souls is not running browse go initial ah so you see we have created a bad logic this should be normally open normally open because for stop button if you use normally close in the software logic actually um, even though okay let me show you one more thing let's uh, this is make it default setting so this is our default setting so all start stop button is normally closed and all start button is normally open but if you see this is we have used normally open but if you see inside the stop button we have used normally closed so it's contradictory even though we have normally open signal but we use reversely we have to use normally open in the software logic but physically it's a normally close the difference so what you have to do i think we have to log out yes and then uh, negation we can change it to normally open save and then go simulate login yes so this is the logic we have right now and then force start button um, value. yes do we have still some other problem okay let us check ah when did we download this Okay, so something is wrong. Let me log in again and start simulation. This should not happen because ah, now it's working. So actually, we haven't downloaded previously complete uh, download after the change we did in the logic. We have not downloaded now. The start button is pressed and our machine is starting. Push button is normally after press it release what we can do uh, we can release by you know giving false uh, zero signal so yes we release but immediately when we release the start button uh, machine also stopped it shouldn't have stopped right yes it shouldn't have stopped the machine so that's another uh, problem the troubleshooting we have to do uh, let's start again starting and, uh, make it release 
Yeah, it stopped. Let's do it with the other machine. Start machine. And then press starting and then stop stopping. So it's not actually working as we uh, expected something different. Uh, starting and then release the start button. Stopping. So what is the problem? Hmm. Okay, so seems like oh, we are using a local variable that is not being saved. <laughs> right. So what you can do, we create some global variable. Uh, go to logout. Create. Uh, global variable list tags we name it then global variable we call it machine one And then instead of um, using this variable, we will we'll delete that later. Uh, we give reference to global variable. Machine one, machine two, and then machine three. Let's do this. Login, login with download. And then simulate start. Okay, press start button. Okay, we have pressed the start button. Now release the start button. Release with this false value. Yes, still it is, uh, you know, going off. The machine is turning off and it is not latching. Hmm. What is happening? Ah. Okay, so this is we uh, have a mistake input output. Or in out in this is going to be in out because we are using this machine X as an input as well as output. Um, so because we had actually declared as output, the input was not. Uh, you know, taking care of the instruction. This is something fishy. We have to take care. I think this is good that we come across this problem. Up so here, uh, update parameter, update parameter. 
Let's copy it and update. Update parameter. This is how it looks like when we declare input and output. Okay, so this is now looks like a different really. Uh, logins download. And start. Yes, it's now better. And it looks like um, it's still not. Oh, the output is not working. Why is that? Well, let me check inside. Hmm. Ah, we have not started the simulator. We have logged in, but uh, we have to use this button to start. Now it's running. Now press uh, unpress the start button. Yes. Now you see the machine X is last. So uh, we have covered a little bit of troubleshooting and debugging of the code. How, wh what mistake we do? Uh, did first we thought that the problem is because uh, of the local tag, and then we created a global tag here, three tags, and then we found it's not the or the tag but instead uh, the problem is within input output declaration we we declared something uh, in out as a in output only so this is where the problem was there so properly when we use a output coil as input like this uh, these are the input instructions. So when we use such uh, you know, output uh, we for the input instruction, we have to declare them as in out. That's uh, the goal. Now what we can do is we remove this because the, our problem is not with the global tag. Uh, we can machine we can replace them. The machine one. Machine two and machine three. So this is all, and we can actually delete this. Not required. Okay, done. Uh, save it, and then login it with the download because we change few, and then start the simulation. This is very important. Uh, then change the start button. Okay, we are testing this one, or we can test all three at the same time. Press the start button or start button of all three machine, and then change. The menu. So now the machine one, two, three, all are started. We release the start button of each one, and then do the same thing. Now you see the machine one, two, and three all are running. How to stop? You cannot stop by pressing the start button again. So what we have to do is we have to press the stop button. Remember stop button is normally closed. So when we press the stop button, it breaks the circuit. That's the main purpose of normally close uh, circuit. Uh, it's used to break the circuit to be effective. Because it is for safety reason that stop button are made as a normally close so we do stop of the first machine write the value and then machine is stopped so when you release the stop button it uh, actually uh, become one again the circuit connects again and you get the value so it becomes ready for the next start. So next time you press the start button, it will start.
the machine again so yeah for the stop you press the stop button for the next machine and it stopped you release the stop button and then stop 3 press the stop 3 button and then unpress the stop 3 button okay that's all 2 3 all are now working properly as expected so uh, quite a bit of uh, thing we have gone through with the troubleshooting declaration of variable writing ladder logic and then we have written the ladder logic within a function and then from that function is called within a program block multiple times and that is our example was all about hope it was uh, useful and thank you